You see that? Someone gave me this to uh, cook with. It's a squash. I'm going to cook with it. Not today, but I'm going to cook with this and make something with it. It's cool. But it'll be on the next video. Who knows? Okay, enough of that. Because today is lobster roll day. Lobster roll, wonderful. You say lobster roll and people say, ooh. You say, I'm not making it with lobster though. And they say, oh. And then you say, I'm making it with hearts of palm. And they say, you must be Chef Dan, almost vegan. And I say, yes, I am. Now, today we're going to make a lobster roll with using hot of palm. And what, what the trick is, is this. Make a, I mean, even when you make lobster roll with lobster, make a really good, it's always a lobster salad. Make a really good lobster salad and you got it, you got it. Um, so that's what we're gonna do with hot of palm. We're gonna make a really good hot of palm salad. In the tradition of the way I make lobster salad, um, we're gonna make hot of palm salad. You think that's cool? Very good, hit that, hit that like button. And if you think it's really cool, very good, subscribe to the channel. I'm Chef Dan again, uh, I'm almost vegan, and let's get to it. So, the hot of palm. I get this at, uh, I got this at Costco. Big, now this is a big size, it's usually a little bit smaller. This is 14 ounce, it usually comes about 10 ounce. Get it in the jar, not in a can. Can can taste a little tinny, jar is better. And it comes in a brine, it's got some good flavor. Um, and Costco, this is about $8 for two of these. Comes in a package of two, $4 a, a jar. Pretty good price. So pretty good. Usually I'll take this and I'll just make a, like a slice it and put it into a salad. Okay. Here I'm just going to chop it up and put it into a, uh, make it into a bound salad, salad with some mayonnaise in it. And that's going to uh, be my lobster salad. The inside is a little softer, right? A little soft. The outside has a little more fiber in it. And what we're going to do is kind of chop it up into fairly large pieces. Like when you have a lobster roll, the pieces, there are some small pieces, but there are a lot of nice chunks. So that's what we do. Cut it in half and cut each chunk into a large dice like that. See that? How big that is? And there we go. And this is about a cup and a half of hot of palm. So I use about a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. That's a, about a cup and a half of, of hot of palm and a quarter of a cup of mayonnaise. Onion. Okay, I like the red onion. It's nice and sweet. And normally I I have this cut already, but I want to show you just how I cut this. Really easy. I cut the top and bottom off. You have to cut the stem off because it's the stem. You cut the root end off because it's very bitter. Cut that off. And this is how I cut it. I don't slice this way. I don't. I don't. Unless some chefs do, some chefs don't. I don't. It's okay if you want to. Not a, pro not a problem. I don't want to hear from the other cooks going, you have to slice this way. I don't do it. It works out fine for me. Fine. Okay, so. There's grains, so I slice, I slice across the grain first. Kind of slicing backwards. Okay, then I slice the other way. Slicing forward. Get to the end. And you can slice one way. Just run your knife through quickly the other way and you're done. Okay, now you can see that this is very, it's finely diced. Okay, I didn't have to cut this way. And I got a nice finely chopped onion. Now, do I need this much? No. I'm going to use a quarter of a cup of onion. And we have dill. This, I already washed this. To wash this, let me show you this so that... I think this is pretty important. I take a bowl, I fill it about halfway with water. 
Okay. And then I take the dill and plunge it into the bowl. Like that. Shake off the excess. You can see the water is a little dirty, still a little dirty. You know, I washed it already because I didn't wash it well enough. That's how you clean any kind of herb. Now the herb is nice and clean. And what I want to do, I want to get a quarter of a cup of this, of the dill, but roughly chopped. I don't want to chop so fine because then it has like this grassy taste. So I want to roughly chop it. All right, quarter of a cup is fine. So far we have the onion and the dill and the hot palm, mayonnaise. What you're missing here is a little bit of crunch. Next ingredient is celery. Celery will give it a little crunch. And a lot of people don't like celery, and there's a reason for that. It's got that bitter celery flavor, okay? Most of that comes from the, uh, the ribs, those strings. And what I'm doing is just peeling off those strings. And there we go. Okay, and then you're not going to have that. You're not going to have that bitterness anymore. Okay. And then we're going to do it once again. About a quarter of a cup. Of uh, celery. Okay. The final ingredient, and this is my secret. You know, every dish I have, I make it mine. I put a little bit of secret ingredient in it. And this is a secret ingredient to this lobster salad, which really has hot of palm. So the ing ingredient is horseradish, okay? I like this horseradish. It's spicy. It says it's spicy horseradish. The reason why it's spicy actually it says hot horseradish is because it's more finely ground. And I like it because you don't get those bits of horseradish in there, but it is, it is spicy. We're going to add about half a teaspoon. I just want to give it a kick. I don't want to make the dish spicy, but I want to People to eat it and go, hey, something's in there. It's very delicious. I don't, I can't figure out what it is. Yeah, a little horseradish. Be careful. You're going to add some salt and pepper, but be careful with it because um, don't forget the hearts of palm. It was in a brine. So if you add too much salt and pepper, it's going to be a little bit salty. It's going to be about a quarter of a teaspoon of pepper. Okay, and then about a half a teaspoon of salt. And there you have your lobster salad. Okay. You can see the chunks in there, nice green color. That's the uh, dill, beautiful stuff, lobster salad. Next thing, the next thing we're gonna need is bread, right? Lobster rolls on a roll. I don't necessarily use a roll. I use a hot dog roll. What we're going to do is we're going to use Martin's potato rolls. And the reason why we use Martin's potato what I like Martin's potato rolls is because it stands up to the salad. It's got some bite to it. It's not just like a white bread potato roll. It kind of is soft and mushy and whatnot. It can really stand up to the salad. And all you're going to do at this point Take your salad and you shove it in. Listen, if you've ever eaten, if you've ever eaten a, uh, a lobster roll, this is how it is. This is how it looks, right? Anyway, so there you go, right? Easy, delicious. It's basically the salad. I made it into a lobster roll because it kind of looks like a lobster roll. Um, but you can make that salad and put it anything. Put it in a wrap. Put it in pita bread. Put it in on top of English muffin with a poached egg on top. Whatever you like.
Okay, it's a great salad. Good way to use hearts of palms. Hearts of palms, very interesting ingredient. Um, it's a very good substitution for, for lobster, which there aren't many. So um, it's nice to use. And I'm going to dig into this. One second. Here you go. Oh, boy. That is really good. With the dill, and that dill flavor, it does represent lobster a little bit. But it's just really hot to palm all the way. Really good. Don't add lemon juice to it because it's got that good bitterness, I think, from the dill and the onion. And it's kind of rich, but it's kind of light. It's really nice. Hot dog roll is a great vessel for this. If you want to, you can butter the inside of hot dog roll and grill it. That's fine. I don't because I don't want the butter. But you can do that. That's great. Um, just wonderful. I'm going to finish this. And then maybe I'll make another one. I got extra salad, right? <laughs> so. Oh, yeah. I'm Chef Dan. I'm almost vegan. And if you like this video, please click like. Make a comment. Have you ever eaten hot palm before? Have you ever had lobster roll before? Have you ever had lobster roll you didn't like? I've never had lobster roll I didn't like. I like all of them. It's wonderful. Um, Please subscribe to the channel, hit that bell, have a great day. I'm going to finish this. Once again, I'm Chef Dan. I'm almost vegan. I'll see you at the next video.